I was down in Florida ministering, and I, Robin and I, and I looked over, and Krista, and we looked over, I looked over to television when I got up that morning. I think I was headed to the meeting, and I looked at it, and uh, Joe Biden was speaking. And I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, Lord, he just don't need to be president. And without a hesitation, I heard the Lord say, he won't. Just like that, he won't. And that after the election, the Democratic Party will go underground kind of like the altar of Pergamon or the throne of Satan. Now, that's what I heard. Now, <clears throat> I had saw from the prophetic river, and what the prophetic river is, is it's a river that flows through the scripture, and it flows through... Uh, if once you see it as it makes its way through the scripture, you know, prophets can say something and, and, and miss it and not be false prophets, just wrong prophets at a certain time because we didn't see it quite clear. But the, the river never misses it. The only thing that ever misses when it comes to the river is the way we interpret it. But it never misses. You know, for example, uh, I use this example a lot. If you start looking at the end of the age that's coming, the Bible said in Isaiah 46, 10, that God declares the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, the things that haven't happened and so forth. So if you look at the book of beginnings, which is Genesis, and if God declares the end from the book of beginnings, then you could read Genesis forward and be reading Revelation backward. And it works kind of like this. So what, is the, uh, what happens at the end of the age? Well, that's the first thing that does happen is the end of an age. And when that end comes on, then something's going to change. Right after the end of the age, there will be a catching away of the church. And then we call that the rapture of the church. So once you see all the, the harpazio or the, the snatching out or the catching out, and once that takes place, then right after that, then you see a tribulation begin. Then the tribulation uh, comes to an end. Then at the end of the tribulation, then you see, uh, you know, uh, you see a thousand year millennial reign where the earth is put back in a perfect uh, order. And then once you see that, then at the end of the millennial reign, Satan is loose for a little season to go and tempt or subvert the nations one more time. And then at the end of that, uh, he is taken and cast into the lake of fire where the beast and the false prophet are and his smoke ascends forever and ever. And, and then Jesus goes before his father and gives everything, submits it all back to God again. And the Bible says God is all in all. Well, if you're reading that forward in Revelation, then going backward, you find the end of an age, which is Noah's day. That's the only end of an age we see. And so when that ends, then you should back up into Genesis 5 and you find Enoch being translated or raptured out of the earth. And then you go back to Genesis 4 and you find a brother with a mark killing his brother without a mark. That's the indicative of the tribulation period. Then at the end of that you find the end of the tribulation period where Jesus returns and defeats the army in Armageddon. Well, in Genesis 3.15 going backwards you find the seed of the woman bruising the head of the seed of the serpent. And that's the end of the tribulation period. And then when you go back further than that then you find the millennial reign and that's Genesis 2 where everything is perfect and put back in order. Then in Genesis 1 you get around verse 2 and 3 and you see that the earth becomes chaotic. That's Satan being loosed for a little season. And then at the end of that God is all in all and Genesis 1-1 in the beginning God. So you're looking at a flow of the river. That's the prophetic river and that's why I brought that up again so you could see the way the river flows. Sometimes it goes forward. Sometimes it flows backwards. Sometimes it's all in the middle. Sometimes it's just it's the way the river flows. You have to see the current and then you have to know how to follow it if you're looking at the prophetic river.
And for instance, if you go to Genesis chapter 2 and you see this where the rivers are named, the river Pison, Gihon, Hadekel, and so forth, and you see Euphrates and you see Syria, uh, Assyria, you see all these names going through there. And then when you, if you translate all those in Hebrew, it literally tells you that at the gushing forth or the rushing forth, which means time, and when time is rushing forth toward the end, it said there will arise a powerful black man, a descendant of Cushi, who will have great authority in the earth. And we know that was Barack Obama who was elected to be the most powerful man in all the world at one time. And it made history because he was a descendant of Cushi from Africa. So that was a prophetic flow in the river. So what you want to do is when you're looking at these prophetic flows, you need to remember that in the river, everything is told in the river. And the scripture says that in the beginning in the, and in the Garden of Eden that there went out a river from Eden to water the garden and from thence it was parted into four heads. Or in other words, the four corners of the earth and it went out to a prophet prophesy to the creation everything that would ever come in the earth there was an impression made of it in the earth and so the earth will recognize prophetic events and prophetic times and 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 this is where angels operate this is where the cycles of the earth operate and this is what prophets hear when they say thus saith the lord they're hearing the cycles and where the four rivers made the impressions and so forth and you're hearing harvest that's been planted that will come and on and on it goes. So when you start knowing these things, then you realize something. That when you start to understand the river, the prophetic river, I saw in the prophetic river that flows through the word, and I told you all that so you'd know what I meant by this. I saw in the prophetic river, and uh, I said this on October the 11th, 2020. I said, look for something to happen 21 days from the election because I had saw it in the river. It was kind of impressed upon me from the river. And it said, uh, look for something to happen 21 days uh, before the election. I said that on October the 11th. And um, uh, I actually said it once before, I think, but this was when it was recorded. And um, so you can look uh, on... Um, October 11, 2020 on Church International's YouTube, and you'll see on that Sunday service where I said this, and 21 days from the election, depending on how you count it, from the day of or the day following, any, just about any way you look at it, 21 days from the election, suddenly Hunter Biden's laptop showed up in the world. That was 21 days from the election, and the river foretold that. You see, all, uh, no, nothing, this is not subject to anything. Everything is subject to this. And so the prophetic river said 21 days something would happen, and it did. Something very significant, Hunter Biden's laptop showed up. And if you'll remember, I kept saying things like this. I said, the Lord would give me this word way back, and I'd say, Red October. I see a Red October. Now, I was thinking of that movie, Red October, you know, that what Sean Connery played in, I think it was, years ago. And then someone released a post that said, Red October, the hunter has now become the hunted. And this man's name was Hunter Biden. So the river told it all those years ago. All those years ago.